Hey everyone, welcome to Sims Paradise. In this episode, Judas is about ready to go ahead and meet with his father, Lucifer. And, uh, this is unannounced to Nicole or anybody else. Um, this is definitely going to be a little bit of a tough thing for him, pill to swallow. Because he wants, um, his father to potentially help him try to reverse this thing or something with to help Nicole cope better with the loss of her mom because it was Judas who actually ended Catherine's life because Catherine and him came to the realization that this would probably be the best way and he used a spell but in order for he pretty much used up a lot of his power in order to do that spell but he needs the help of another person a little bit more powerful than him because he's also part angel so he has power but he used up a lot of it because of that so he's gonna go ahead and tell nicole he's gotta go um somewhere and nicole's like well let me come with you and he's like no you need to stay here he said it's nothing important i just need to go somewhere and um she's like well then uh, if, okay, I'm, I'll be here waiting for you when you get back. So, he's going to go ahead. He found the location in the last episode of where his father is. Um, through the angels and all that. And also the demons that kind of like transitioning back and forth type of thing. Or trying to transition over to angels type of thing. But, he's in for a rude awakening when he does come to his dad's house. So, he is here at his dad's apparent address, um, which actually is what's supposed to be former nightclub, but his dad's kind of, like, taken it over, um, and he's gonna, like, potentially knock on the door, see if anyone lets him in. So, he is in... And he sees his father, even though he sees this couple here, even though ultimately they're just like meat suits, like they use them as bears or whatever. And he's like, and he's like, ah, my boy, what brings you here after we've been looking for you for, for so long? You've decided to show up at my house here, and now you want to have a conversation with me. And he's like, what does this have anything to do with anything? And he's like, listen, the only reason why I ultimately came here is, is because I need help. I need you guys' help, you and Lilith's help, potentially. To reverse a spell that I've done to bring back a human life. And he's like, ultimately, he said, for what you and your mother did, I should be killing you right now. But since you are blood, my only true air blood I will let that slide but I cannot help you it would cause too much of attraction towards myself but all I can say is there's only one way to reverse a death spell as you say and that is with true love in order to do that, you must find that woman's true love and get the blood of her true love and the blood of a family member and combine them together and then recite the spell backwards. So he's stating that in order to do that, he pretty much has to do that or whatever. And that's the only way to do it. He said, now... Get out of my house before I change 
my mind. So he he pretty much let him slide this time for coming here. He said, but I will hunt you down. And the next time I do see you will be the end. Because right now, I just can't deal with it. So he's kind of helped him in some cases. But in another case, he didn't because he has to somehow get the blood of her true love of Catherine's true love and a blood of a family member which means he has to let someone know uh, um and in order to do that he has to try to figure out who would be best to do that and even who her true love is the last person she was even with was Travis so maybe she kind of, he kind of thinks it's Travis. So Judas is back home and he is going to be questioned by Nicole then and see and he's going to be questioned by Nicole that like where did he go and all that cuz he was seen by a former friend of hers which was the vampire guy Lucas that around there. He's like, why did you go to the, there? And he... Pretty much said, listen, I had to go there to see someone to potentially reduce the thing that I did. But I need some ingredients, and I need to know, potentially, would you be willing to give me a little bit of your blood? And she's like, yes, to bring your my mom back? And he's like, yes. And so he has the blood of Nicole on tack, but he still has to find Catherine's true love. And so he is going to go ahead and ask Nicole if she knows who potentially... Catherine's true love was or is was it Travis and Nicole's like there's little things that people did not know about my aunt actually not her mom her aunt and that was that she was actually in love with Kira or yeah Kira and also, she has a crush on the celebrity. But she said she never really revealed what celebrity that was. So Judas is kind of like at a like stuck right now because he doesn't he has part of it, but he doesn't have the other part to do the spell. And so he's going to go ahead and call his dad because see like if or see if like because his dad said if he's seen him again he would kill him. He never said anything about calling but see if he doesn't have all the things if there is another way and his dad's like. There's only one other ingredient that could be substituted for the true love. And that is the something of her herself. Like something that belonged to her. But that doesn't always the best way to do it. Because there's been rumors stating that that can cause... A malfunction in the time universe and can even kill the person doing this spell so that was actually Lilith that gave him that information it wasn't her dad his dad even though it was his dad's phone Lilith gave it to him because his dad would have pretty much tracked him down and all that so Lilith is actually helping him out but his dad's kind of like still trying to hunt him down even though he did give him the help earlier he said next time he seen or heard from him, he was going to kill him. So, it looks as if 
they need something like something that belonged to Catherine or also Lilith said they would need the blood of a family member and the blood of someone that is a descendant of her. So he was thinking maybe it's time that him and Nicole could have a baby and he's going to talk to Nicole about it. And Nicole's like, why are you such in a hurry now to have a kid? Like, we, I mean, I don't even know if I want to even really continue this relationship fully because, I mean, what you did to my aunt, which was like a mother figure to me. And he's like, listen, this could be potentially the only way to bring back your aunt. I know it sounds off, but I need the help of another powerful being. And this baby could be that help that I need to bring her back. For you, for the twins, for everybody, Jack and all. So Nicole's like, listen, if I agree to do this, then after this is all done and over with, We are going to have to see where we stand. But I'm only doing this because of my aunt. I don't really have the best relationship with you right now. So she's agreeing to do it only for Catherine right now. But we'll have to wait and see how this relationship continues. If they, de if they decide to stay together since... The, what happened because she still blames Judas for what happened um but only time will tell if they are even able to continue um with the plan because the plan is to have this baby and with the baby's power being in the house Judas will have enough power to bring her back himself without having to get the blood from anybody because he'll be have enough power to re reverse the spell himself without any type of help. So they are going to try to have a baby and see if they can. And once the baby is born, they will be able to determine whether or not that that baby is powerful enough or has the genes of Judas in it to um, potentially help out with the whole Catherine resurrection thing. So we just have to wait and see. Um, and Jessica wants to invite over Maria, which I'm going to say no right now because these guys are kind of doing their own thing right now and I don't want them to walk in on them. Okay, they're done, and the first thing I have to have her do now is check and see if there is a baby um, on the way. So she is eating for two, so that is good news for Judas, in a sense. If this baby does carry the gene of, like, either a demon or an angel, he'll have enough power in the house to pretty much resurrect Catherine. But obviously, the baby is going to be really, really tough because it's pretty much an offspring of... Someone that is a demon and an angel. So it's going to be like a really tough baby, I think, to carry. And it's going to be really, really tough for Nicole, I think. But I think Judas is definitely getting what he wants. And he hopes that by doing this and by bringing Catherine back, that it's going to help his relationship with um, Nicole personally this 
So, with that said, we're going to have to wait and see um, what goes on in this family with the baby and meet the baby in the next episode and see if this baby could potentially help us out if he has the same sort of, like, energy and that, that Judas has inside his body to potentially give Judas that enough strength to bring back Catherine. But only time will tell with that, so thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys all next week for another episode of Sims Paradise. But I'll see you guys all tomorrow for the video of the week. Peace.